What's up guys, this is your girl Chad with K and I'm back with another vlog. Today I am going to be taking you along with us so we can take King to the vet. The day has finally come. But if this is your first time tuning into my channel, there's something I ask that you do. And that is click like, click share, and click subscribe. And then turn on your notification because you don't know what we got going on. I'm going to try to vlog it as much as I possibly can. I want to make sure that it is freaking cold outside. And I want to make sure that um, he gets all dolled up and get ready to go for the summer. I want to make sure that he get, he, you know, his heart medicine and flea pills and all that stuff. Get his nails done and all that. Because he won't let me do nitrogen to him when it comes to his hygiene. And I tried to clip his nails and he snapped at me. So needless to say, he was on punishment for a little bit. I still gotta discipline him as my baby, but he don't snap at me. So the vet said, hey, bring him to the professionals and let us take care of him. So I'm gonna try to vlog as much of, of it as I possibly can. Mr. Man knows that I wanna try to get it all on camera so he <sighs> would not be I mean, so that he won't be playing the music. King is going in the car. Right now, Mr. Man, I took him outside to let him handle his business before we put him in the car. Because when we get back in the house, we got to put the vest on this joker. And it is not fun. So I'm going to try to walk as much of as I can. Let me set this camera down and get it ready so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I might have to help him. So I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can to let you see. So it is, you was like, put the vest on him, it's going to be easy. Uh-uh. <laughs> not, with, not with him. No, ma'am. Not with him. So I'm going to set the camera down and I'll be right back. The life of a dog mom. And I have a Walk well, y'all know that. <laughs> this is King's Day. Today is the day, baby. It's fixing to be an adventure for sure. So I'll be back momentarily. All right, guys, I was able to have to help Lawan put the vest on him. As you can see, he's not gonna act right. I'm gonna see if I can get him to get in the car. Okay, man, he want to go. You go and see the blue vest. We're going to take it and lock it into the seat. So we'll see. We will see. Okay. Jump up, King. You're going to have to pick him up. Okay. So far, so good. This is the hard part to latch him. We'll have to latch him because he don't want to act right. See? Oh, well, you don't act crazy. Huh? See his eyes? This is what we're going to the doctor for. His eyes. Come here and wipe your face because I know you're not going to let me. Um, look at him in the back of the car. He is tied down, but he looks like he is being it's abusive, but it's not. Cause he is going to jump all over the car so we going to let him move so hopefully he will sit down and rest his nerves because we don't want him jumping in the front seat while we driving and we got like a 20 minute drive so he is just ah! you told you All right, he got out the vest. So now he's right here being a pain in the butt. There he is right there. So hopefully I'll see you guys when I get there because I might have to just not do this vlog because I'm not going to be able to uh, record unless I get in, in there and it might have music. So I just got to make sure that um, there's no music playing. So hopefully we got like a 20 minute ride and we already running late because we got to fight with him. So hopefully we'll still get there because he is right here. We got to get his eyes done and get his shots done because he has allergies really, really bad. 
so hopefully she'll give him some medicine so that his we won't have to go through what we went through last summer because he is wise as his rings around his eyes like that he is definitely has allergies really really bad so i keep you guys posted i'm not gonna record all the way there and because it's like like i said it's like a 20 minute drive Hey guys, I'm ready to go and get us some Chick-fil-A where they got King. It was hard to get him to be still, but they got him back there. So I vlog going back in there because if you can see, we're at, maybe not, well, I can't see that way. We're at the Pest Mart and they got him back there. So hopefully they can get the muzzle on him because King is just not happy. He's not going to let you do anything to him. And right now my nerves are bad because um, I just want him to be I just want him to be well taken care of. They're looking at his eye. They're doing all of that to give him his heartwarming and uh, she said that he had the rest of his shot. Right. All of them. Yeah, I because I don't know how to read that record. So she said she had had all of them, but with Rottweilers you go another round. That's what I was telling you. And she said they will pass through. So that's they're gonna give him. She said they can give them all to him today. So I'm like, uh, you better muzzle him because he. Mm -mm. So the life of a dog, mom. We're gonna go get some Chick Fil A, and I will vlog when we go back in there and just see what she says is what we're gonna do what we gotta do because i know she said that the teeth cleaning and all of that that they are going to put him to sleep and also i keep telling everybody that they give animals the same medication they give us and like she said if we have to bring him back because he don't want to act right then we will get the they'll give him the trazodone to make him a little sleepy my doctor prescribed that to me for my uh, insomnia, but I can't take Trazodone. It just makes my stomach, it just makes me too nauseated. So, I was like, oh, well, okay, but I don't know that. I could have kind of had him a little sleepy on the way over here. So, we'll see. So, I'll get back in touch with y'all once we get some lunch and try to eat in peace because King is not going to let us eat. So, that's what we're trying to do right now. Okay, as you can see, we are at Pet Smart. But they just called us and told us that King is very, very strong, and then that they are they are having trouble um, holding him. So what they're going to do is they got a specialist that comes in a little later today that specializes in big dogs that are very, very strong, like King is. And she said that they will going to keep him throughout the day so they can work on him as far as getting him to. Um, sit down and they're going to train him a little bit to, to be an uh, obediency type thing because <laughs> King I try, try to tell people they don't understand taking that dog he is just mm -mm, King is not listening to anybody but she did say that they were able to look in his ears and things like that so she said when the behavior specialist comes in then they'll go ahead and get his shot so they just want to keep him throughout the day so she said we're going to go ahead and head home then we, when they, when they are done with him, they'll call us to come back and pick him up. Or listen, you want to hang out over here all day. What time is it? It is very early. <laughs> so I don't know what you want to do. It's very, very early. Very, 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 very early. So guys, this is what we deal with having to take King to the vet. It is, right now you just, you know, we're in Novusville and we're just looking. So we can either go home or we can... Uh, window shop or we can just you know hang out a little bit so so we'll just see you want to hang out just a little bit to see because she said uh, um, he who he or she is not even here yet that works with them that do specializes um, holding him because she said that uh, King is very very strong and he's pulling away from them I'm like uh, I gotta told you that that's why I told them they should have let you come back there and put his butt in the headlock and let him go and do what he gotta do because it is what it is. King is a big boy. So. Ain't no, no, no trying to talk him down, boy. He ain't going for that. He ain't going for it. That's what I'm trying to tell him. I'm like, okay, come on. We got spit and we, we can handle him. I'm like, okay. Okay, we going to see. <laughs> so. But that's it for right now, guys. I will pop back in a little bit later. 
to see what's going on with my baby. I was just sitting here telling Mr. Man that I am I got butterflies in my stomach. I have anxiety. I'm hit that real. And then I just don't like um leaving him like that. But like I told them, muzzle, 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 because the king will snap at people and I do not want him to bite anybody. So but they say he he's back there, so we'll see. We'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Just keeping you updated because this right here, I don't know. So we'll see. Okay, guys, we just had lunch and King is still not ready. We dropped him off. See Mr. Man over there? We dropped him off at 9 o'clock. It is now, what, 12 something? So we don't want to go all the way home. They have to turn around and come all the way back. So because we do not live in Noblesville. Even though, huh, it's probably a little more town-like than what we live. But we don't want to go all the way home and then turn around and come back. We had lunch at Logan. I didn't want to film while I was in there because of, I, plus you can probably hear the music and get copyrighted. So... No, I was talking about inside the restaurant. Oh, yeah. So I wasn't able to record while we were in there because the music was going. So hopefully, I am out of breath. I am tired. But as you know, Mr. Man loves steak. So he did have him a nice little steak. And I just kind of ate a salad. And I took his bone off his steak and give it to my baby once he's finished. <laughs> They were talking about um, gonna get a. I don't know. Let's see here. Hold this. Hold no, it. Let me just get in here. It's time. Um, they say that he needs some behavior training. <laughs> I still think that's hilarious. Good. <laughs> Shoot. Good luck. Because if you need people need to understand, Rottweilers, I don't care how much training you give them, they. Are very stubborn dogs when they want to be and it is well explained when you do your research on those type of dogs they can be stubborn but they're highly intelligent he's very intelligent so we're gonna just keep I don't know what we're gonna do now I don't want to sit in this car all day Huh? We can't see this car go to sleep. Mm -mm. They've been not pulled us come knocking on the door. Talking about what are you doing in the car sleep? So I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't want to be on my feet all day. I can't. So I think I'm gonna try to go and um, call them to see if he's ready or not. Or do a little vlogging while we're riding down the streets in Novasville. <laughs> um. Because right now, he's not ready. So I'm hoping that maybe I can call them. Let me put that in the back seat or something until we get out. Hey. Lawan, I'm not going to sit here and hold that whole thing all the way home like that. Or just sit there and hold it, hold it, hold it. You can't hold it. You have to drive. So maybe, guys, I'm going to see if we can call and check on him really quick and see if they have came. I'm just gonna ask him how he's doing. Is he doing any better? Because he is a handful. And you guys will see, I'ma still try to get some more information, I mean not information, get some more um, footage while I have him. Yeah, cause I gotta come out this thing. That's why I say you want me to hold that, but honey, it's not gonna happen. So let's see if this is the place and we'll see guys. We will see. I'm just rambling right now to try to make this video have some footage to it. So we'll see. So I'm gonna try to call now and see if they, uh, are they working with him or is he, how's he doing? Hey, yes, the Mrs. Uh, Carhesha, I really didn't want anything. I was just trying to see if he's is he's doing okay i've kind of got anxiety i've never dropped him off anywhere for this long so it's king is my pet is he doing okay i believe so i believe they've almost finished him so hold on a second okay okay well we're still here so yeah. 
So she said she put me on hold. She said she think he's doing okay. They're almost done. So maybe we about to go pick him up. <laughs> we'll see. We will see, guys. We will see. You can see a little bit of more Nova's why they got hurt. Why they got me on hold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael, he's doing okay because I then I knew I have a little. I don't know. That's just my child. All right, I apologize for that. So, um, the veterinarian's telling me if you come in at two thirty to pick him up, uh -huh. he will be ready, and she'll talk to you when you get here. Okay, that, that's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to make sure he was okay because I know he can be a handful. He was doing good. He loves cookies. He loves to shake hands. <laughs> yeah, because that. <laughs> Yes, he does. If you, because when we give him treats, I always say, "Am I, am I your friend?" And he'll touch me with his paw. So that's probably why he's uh, shaking hands because you guys <laughs> yeah, giving him treats. They were giving him cookies and they had him sit, and then he automatically, he automatically put that paw up, like, "Okay, here." Uh -huh, <laughs> like, this, is what I have to do. this is what I want. That's King, honey. You do that all day long <laughs> with Legree <laughs> self. <laughs> No. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we'll. Um. It's like another two and a half hours. Okay. I just want to make sure he was okay because I've never really dropped him off this long. But you yeah, know. He's doing good. He is doing well. Everybody's enjoying him. Uh, well, I'm surprised because he can. He's a big boy. So. You know, some of them have the personalities, but yeah. Then he. He just looks at you like, don't mess with me. But then if you look at that butt with that tail, yeah, and get it's the going a mile a minute, like hello. The, uh, the wiggles, yeah. It's like, ah, oh, okay, you guys might be all right after all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but that's okay. I, I, that makes me feel better. I just want to make sure he's okay. That's all. He is good. And she'll talk to you at two thirty. Okay. Okay, not a problem. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> She's like, uh, cookies. <laughs> he in there eating up all they snacks. That's what he in there doing. Okay, guys, you heard that they say he's doing okay. So, Lawan said we're gonna just run in Myers for a little bit, and we're gonna go in there. So as you can see, we're just going to hit a few more stores just because we're not going to go home. It's like, like I said, it's like a, what, 20, 30 minute drive. Yeah. So we're just going to stay over here. So she said 2.30, we can come pick him up. So I come back when I can, guys. I um, A lot of these places over here, they have music blasting like I'll get out, but it's okay. So I will check back with you in a few. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to go and pick up my son. She said that he was able to get all his shots. Um, as you already know, wasn't able to do his uh, nails. We got to bring him back in three weeks. They're going to put him to sleep and cut his nails. They're going to put him to sleep to cleaning down his ears because he won't let you. And then she said... For those who be coming for me with his cherry eye, it is not a fatal thing. It is a cosmetic thing. And she said that if it doesn't bother him, then she would prefer we leave it alone. Because Make when you do surgery on those, and then if itches, if he scratches, it can get infected. Get and I do not want my son to be blind in that eye. She said that he has, uh, she can look at him. He does have allergies, like I said, like his mother. So she's giving us the medication that he needs. And she is going to make sure that we have what we need to have for him for the summer. So he won't be miserable. Okay. And he's got his heart medication. He's got his um, up to date on his second rabies shot. He gets a tag to go on his lacala to let we know that he's had his rabies shot. And then we've done what we need to do for him as his parents. And she said that as you heard on the phone that he likes all of the treats and things. But King, honey, when it comes to you messing with his feet. He don't like it, okay? So hopefully I'm going to at least try to vlog us going in here to get him and um, put him back in the car. Um, we should be able to keep him kind of quiet um, because he has a, a T-bone bone that he's going to get in the car. So 
hopefully he will be too busy wanting to know on his bone because his mama has to come with a treat. Plus he got a to some toys that we just picked up at Myers and all those things. So I'm gonna pause again for a second and I'm going ahead and pick up my dog because I was like, uh, y'all have my baby too long. I don't, I don't do well when I'm separated from him. I don't trust people. I'm just being honest. I don't because people seem to think, but she said that he's done really good and they want us to do this training. Of course, they're going to tell us that because they're going to want us to spend some more coins, but uh, we're going to train him myself. Okay. Yes. So Set, she's lay down. Well, he know he know how to do that. He know how to sit down. I, I, he know how to. He'll listen to me. He'll he he listens to me when I tell him to sit and stay and all the way down and all that stuff. He does it for me. It so shows she's not gonna have to tell me how to do that with King. He's just King is hyper, and she said that it will take some of his when he get fixed in three weeks. He will take away some of his testosterone which I that is what I really wanted for him so just um just be patient I'm gonna go here and change my shoes because these shoes I have on are hurting my feet and Mr. Man just bought me something to slide on my feet so I'm gonna get ready to change them and go get this vest and get it on him when we go back in and we are here to pick him up okay I'll be right back. All right, we on our way to pick him up. As you can see, we are in PetSmart. The music's on, so I'm gonna have to probably turn it off. Benfield Hospital, okay. <laughs> Look what you got. Say hi. You okay. getting picked up from the vet? I have uh -huh. a lecture now. <laughs> That's okay, he's like, let's see. He's like, what's going on? He likes other dogs. He does. He does. He really yeah. does. It's just, he's a good boy. He just don't like you to do any of his hygiene stuff. Yeah. That's when the problem comes in. You know, my son's like that too. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that gets better with age. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We will be back to get you him right, neutered. Right. Yeah. I am so, so far happy. As eating the stuff, you can't feed him the night before and all the holidays. Um, so the night before the neuter, he can eat up until midnight. Okay. Oh, and he don't he, ever eat that Then late. he can have water until he gets here. Um, so it's just no food that morning, basically. Okay. okay. No food, no snacks, no nothing. All right. um, so he'll be nice and hangry. Hangry? <laughs> <laughs> but then he gets the good drugs. Yeah. When he goes home that night, he's going to be super loopy. So expect him to act Sleep. like he had one too many shot cocktails. <laughs> um, she said cocktail. You'll have to watch him around stairs and jumps and all that kind of stuff because he'll be an idiot. Okay. Um, I always say it's like a drunken sailor or drunken frat boy. Treat him that way. Um, start slow with food and water. And then he'll have a cone to go home, which he'll hate. Uh -huh. He's um, probably going to knock it off because uh, his head's going to be so strong. It's going to be big, but we got to keep it on because he's had his, his happiness for a while. Mm -hmm. So he's going to notice they're gone. Oh, yeah, they're so gone. So if he um, tears at that incision, he can actually start making it bleed. And we don't want that. No. And then his scrotum will actually stay. So you'll see that it'll be deflated. Okay. Um, it'll eventually kind of like shrink a little bit. But will it calm him down to his hyperness or no? It, it will, but it will take a while. So okay. he's got testosterone like in his system going all around. Mm -hmm. So it takes about six months or so for that to finish cycling mm -hmm. out. He's trying to knock it off. Let him in. He got his jaw stuck. He got his jaw stuck. It's okay, baby. See, he's trying to knock it there off. There you go. Get used to it, baby. Yeah. And that's All why right. that lower one should go like on a collar, like a buckle collar. That way he can't get his jaw under there like that. Because we didn't know how to put it on. I was like, we needed, we needed a, a, a cone muzzle for dummies because it was not working. He pulling it off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, if the humans have to wear their muzzles, you have to wear your muzzles. <laughs> exactly. Okay? That's, we all did bad. We are in the bad house. It's just That is your mask. Yep. Okay. All and right, buddy. Germs. Thank you so much You're for welcome. being patient with him. I Bye. greatly appreciate it. Hi, buddy. Hi, yayus. I know. You want me to rub it? Yeah, yeah rub it. Yeah, yeah, you're a good boy. Trying to get that medicine in there. He'll feel better. Yeah, you got to get let him get your meds in, okay? Say, yep. Yeah. You got to get the steroids in first. That'll take down the inflammation. Won't hurt so bad, okay? He's like, okay. Love you. Yeah, you got some nice little goodies in the car. Let's go. You got goodies in the car? Say, yeah. Say, my mama did it.
I'm gonna get excited to trim your nails when you're sleeping. Uh, me, you? Them things hurt. He be scratching the daylights out of me. That's called vet tech therapy when we get to come. <laughs> well, hi. He's gonna be your favorite. And what's your name again? Natalie. Natalie, I'm saying, okay, Natalie. I'm bringing you your boy because he's coming. All right, buddy. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. What's his vest? All right, guys. As you can see, we picked him up, so we're gonna wait. To All right, we're gonna try to get him in the car. Get up, baby. Up, up, up. Good boy. There you go. You wanna take that off? You can take that off, so you can get a treat and calm down. All right, let me. He's in the car, guys, so let me try to help LaJuan get him buckled in. Okay, guys, he is back there. You can't see him. We got him in the watch, back watch seat. I got it. I got it. In the back seat. I'm ready to go home. It's been a long, trying day. But as you can see, we picked him up. And for what I am so thankful about, it's like we don't have to fix his cherry eye because it's not anything that is bothering him it is a personal choice and i do not want to put him to no more than what he already got to go through which is being neutered and get his teeth clean and all that so i don't want him to scratch his eye to make him have an infection go blind all of that i don't want to do any of those things so right now he's a happy camper back there let me see if i can let y'all see him. Mm -hmm. I got it, the one. No, no, no. He's trying to have some. Mm -hmm. If you can see him back there, there he is. See, hi, King. And they see. She said that the medicine that they gave us is going to clear up around his eye. And then he's just going to put him on a steroid and that will clean up all that and he will look better in a few weeks. So it is good to go. So now he is the car is tripping. I said no, I said thank you. Oh, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm ready to go home. I am so ready to go home. Here. It was it's been since what nine o'clock this morning and it is what it's after one. So we've been here all day Good thing to his trying to get him done. Yeah, she said his blood work was phenomenal, which that it's is a food. It, yeah, it's the food. It, which is great. So she said that That's his, the most thing I was worried about his blood work. No, she said his blood work was his good. Blood work is bad, but you gonna have problems. So she said his blood work was ex. She said his blood work was excellent, and that was what we really, I was really really concerned about. I just really wanted to know why his eye looked like he was, you know, was he was having some issues. But like she said, that it will clear all of that up with his over two hundred dollars worth of medication in here. And I might have to trick him and put it in some steroids. Oh, well, it's not steroids. We'll put it in some hot dogs or something to make him eat it. So we just take it away. So he's happy. He's back there with his dad's bone. He's locked in so he can't jump over the car now like he was earlier. But he's good to go. He's locked in right now. So we are on our way home. And we will. I will get back with you guys as soon as I wish door. As soon as I get, uh, put the flashes on and get out and close. Mm -hmm. And just get put the flashes on and get out and close it. Because you had a red light anyway. They just have to wait. And I need to put my seatbelt on while I'm tripping. All right, guys. I am Ramley. This has been a long uh, process. So we'll see bits and pieces of King's visit. And I'll see you guys when we get home. Hey, guys. We are at home. King is in his thing. There he is right there. He's in there. He has this little T-bone bone that he is going to really probably be, he probably rest the rest of the day because he has had a trying day and he's full of things. But this is his little Skittle package that we have. Um, this is, I think this is his uh, eardrop medication. Oh, He's hungry. Oh, and then this is his eye medication. This is his prednisone for his information that will clear up his eyes. Um, this is another, I think this is another ear. I think this may be the eardrop one. What 
whichever one it is, it don't matter. And I think this is his flea pills medication. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, this one is. I think this is his, his flea pills. Um, the one that, because, you know, this is, I think it's the same brand that we got before when we took him to the vet. So, yes, it's off the S. So, that is what we got. And then, at some point, I have to give him this. Right now, he's a little wore out. He's probably not going to cooperate with me pretty much but i'm going to try to um get him to understand that this is for the benefit of him so a whole tally i don't mind um sharing this type of information with you guys because you have to be able to care for your pets um all of this it was too something had we not had his insurance that we have to pay for every month, as you can see, it would have been that figure right there, $815.21. But our cost was two sixty one fifty. So imagine if we did not have the Benefil wellness package, because with the wellness package, as you can see, we saved $553.71. I tell anybody that Benefil Wellness Packages, they are beneficial to have because, as you can see, that plastic would have been hot off the press to pay for this visit. But it was well needed. It was well worth it. And she said, again, I'm going to say it in this video yet again. She said that his cherry eye is not fatal. It is a elective cosmetic surgery only. She doesn't recommend that we mess with it because it is not causing him any issues and that he can see. If we decide to do the surgery, it could become infected and it could heal or scratch it because it's going to itch and then you could cause him to get an infection and go blind so i'm not going to mess with that i'm going to take her advice because she is the veterinarian and i'm not going to be listening to other people when they say that my dog needs to go to the vet because that's fatal because it's not just google it gurgle it it will tell you and also, for he was talking for the person that said he had lice because he was itching. Uh, no, that's not it either. He has allergies just like his mama. So all of this is getting him ready for the summer. So we are home. I am tired. We got there. We had to drop him off. We was there at the vet, what, at 9? And then we are just getting back home. So say hi, King. Say, I don't care about none of that. I'm tired. Y'all sit up there and let them people stick me. They took my blood. They gave me some shots. He is current on all of his shots right now. He was able to get them all. He also got his second round of rabies, which I am proud to say. There is his tag. His rabies tag, yes. My baby got his second rabies shot. And, of course, as you can see, his little name tag right there. So, my baby is good to go. He is set for the summer. Hopefully, with all this medication, will clear up the irritation around his eyes that will get make it all clear up and go away. Because I think that she said that's what the prednisone would do. So he has that. He's going to be on those for five days and all that kind of stuff. And we got the the most expensive flea package because it has the heartworm and the flea and everything all in one. So we just have to give him one tablet. And I asked her, could I give it to him in a hot dog? Because he's not going to take it if he sees it. He go back on the 22nd. We drop him off at 7. They will put him to sleep. 
he will get neutered then. They will cut his nails then because, like I told you, he wouldn't let me do them and they he would not let them do him, let them do them. And like she said, it's too dangerous because he does not like to let you mess with his feet. So she's going to put him to sleep and then they're going to go in there and clean out all of that gunk out of his ears that I know is down in there. He won't let me do it, but I'm still going to, and he's still going to get this stuff because this, this stuff is $200 and some dollars for this medicine. He is going in one way or the other. Okay. So thank you guys for tuning in with us. We're taking King to the vet. He, my say girl, him getting in that car, he's tired. He's exhausted. And he doesn't understand. You, you mad at mommy? You mad at mommy? We just got to do what's best for you. We have to let the world know that despite of what they think, I can, I, I take care of you. You the one that be acting all cray cray when it's time for you to go to the vet. So you want to say bye? You want to end the vlog? I'm not going to get your bone. Don't be looking. I'm not going to want that. Trust me. You can have your bone. I don't want it. King, say huh? Say bye, guys. Say see my eye. All that's going to go away. My mommy got my medicine for me, so people don't have to think that she doesn't care for me because she does. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.